Hello everyone and welcome to the exciting part 2 of our awesome Cabin Fever horror computer game. This is Boris Media Prods and today we're going to be looking at flashlights and um, moving them, setting them up, adding toggling and sound. So first of all let's begin uh, by deleting this. <laughs> Okay, um, so we have our, you probably have all these cubes and a first person controller. What I did is I created a new object and attached all of these guys to our new object and uh, called it load zone. Not necessary, but it's just this way. Now you probably noticed that my uh, screen is darker because I deleted the red spotlight because um, I didn't think it looked as good as I wanted it to. So first we're gonna move this guy a little bit closer to the wall. Okay, so um, first step in creating a flashlight, getting the actual source of light. Create other spotlight. We got this little nice spotlight that is pointing at the ground. First step. Of this. As you can actually, for now, we can hide the ceiling. Because it is really annoying. Um, we're going to go ahead and bring this flashlight to the center. Just like this. Bring it to our player. We're gonna bring it up right about the right about where the camera is. I'm gonna point it we're just gonna point it directly at this wall. Just like that. Now when we play the game I just wanna point like Make it brighter, I guess. Uh, make it big. Probably this big. Um, you can obviously increase the intensity a little bit. Like that. Bring it closer to the camera and just extend it. Extend it out. Like that. To make it a little wider. What we're gonna do is we're gonna F2, our spotlight. And we're just gonna call this flashlight. And uh, source. We're gonna go ahead and open up our first person controller. And we're just gonna attach this to the camera. So make sure it moves around with the camera. And um, you want to make sure that you there's the ceiling there, so that's that. Uh, if you want to make it brighter, or I mean, like if you want to make it uh, shine farther, we can extend this all the way up there. Now we can, you know, like look around here, stuff. Um, as that, let's close off our roof. So now, if we we actually have a roof here, we can just look at it like that. And um, yeah, we got our, our spotlight. Next part in creating a spotlight, I mean a flashlight, is a script. You're going to create a new folder called scripts. You're going to right click in the folder, create JavaScript, and call this flash. Now you can do this script flashlight. And we're going to open it up in mode develop. Now, 
one developer we're gonna have this pragma script start update update is every frame of the game and start is the beginning of the game obviously you can have the light disabled so light enabled false in the beginning of the game and uh, in order to, uh, to actually turn on our light we need to click now there's a few ways to uh, turn on flashlight we can do press F we can click our mouse button now I personally I prefer the mouse mouse click but for all of you who want to do an uh, an F click I'll do it both ways so first I want to do the mouse one because that's my favorite so if input dot um, get mouse button down and our mouse button is zero because that's the left click we're gonna open up our, our little brackets here now we're gonna check if our flashlight is not enabled if, our, if I mean oops. if light is enabled is not actually flight is not enabled because that little exclamation mark stands for not so if light is enabled not if light is enabled not um then uh shit's gonna go down and um oh, damn it i could insert so if light is enabled we're gonna do this thing in the jig um we're gonna say if light is enabled and we click a button um we're gonna do we're gonna turn on the light so like that enabled equals true and uh else god why is this happening to me um we're still gonna give it a true so that's that First, we're gonna check and make sure that I did not forget how to code, and I uh, got everything right. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, oh, fail! We haven't touched the script. Uh, first person flashlight source. That's the script. Let's go. Okay, first first error of the day. Delete that. Um, equaled. Maybe it's actually this way. I do not know. The heck was that? Wind. And there you go. We got our first flashlight, working flashlight script. Pretty cool. Now, um, all right, so we got that. But now it's sort of boring. How our flashlight's just, just there. We want to add a little shaky movement to it. So what we're gonna do? Cause actually, when you when you're scared, your hands sort of shake and. Uh, your flashlight will shake with your hands so that's uh, what I usually do just to make your games a little more you know a little more creative uh, I think what we have to do because I haven't done this time we have to add an animation I think animation and uh, we can create a new folder animations And um, we're gonna go compile uh, window animation, and we're gonna add curve. We call this flashlight. Flashlight. So we're gonna add curve, and we're gonna make it go like like that, pretty much. Add curve. 
transform rotation so delete those and we're gonna start here um, I think this is a half second just move it up a little bit move to the left and then we're gonna move it to here and move that down gonna move it that to the right So I don't play. Yeah, that sort of works. That sort of works. So yeah, now if we play the game. Oh, we gotta loop it. We have to. How do we loop it? I think we have to go here and go loop. And um, I know you guys can make it more smooth, honestly. Like, um, I show you guys how to do it. So I'll just be right back when I get it smooth enough. All right, and I'm back with um, a little animation. I did it a little differently. It goes up and down, pretty much. Just a little bit, just a little ambient. If you guys do what I did, um, I just went in uh, window animate animation. Where is it? Right here, and um, I added curves, and I just add curve, and I did like this little wavy curve. Um, so we got that. Now I'm gonna add sound in one second. We've got to check on one thing, and you got to get the sound that we're actually gonna be adding. So we'll be right back, guys. All right, so guys, let's continue. We got our audio here. You will probably not be able to hear it, but it's like a little click sound of our flashlight that I just found on uh, soundbible.com. We're gonna go back into our script. We're gonna do here bar, um, click as audio clip. And here, we're just gonna do. If um, I'm gonna do audio dot clip equals to click. Um, click dot play. I think it, I think it's like this. Oh, audio, audio clip. Audio that play. Let's say that. Um, shouldn't give us errors. I'll tell you guys if it's working or not. Oh, I forgot to attach the audio source. We're gonna go back to our thing. We're gonna touch the flashlight sound. Now before we do that, we're going to go into our flashlight, change it to a 2D sound, and we're going to apply. Let it play. Hmm. There's no audio source. Source attached. One second, guys. All right. So apparently, what you have actually had to do is the script is right, but we had to do is you have to attach an audio source and just drag your uh, flashlight sound in here and uh, turn off play on awake. So we're gonna play now and. Um, if you did everything completely out, you should be playing. I know you guys can't hear it because I can hear it. But um, 
yeah, so that's how you do it, basically. And, uh, yeah, enjoy, guys.